Sandra Dee, known for her roles in the 1959 film Gidget and her subsequent successful career as a model and actress, had a surprising connection to hillbilly culture. Despite her wholesome image, Sandra's career took unexpected turns, showcasing her range and versatility as a performer. Sandra Dee, born as Alexandra Zuck in 1942 in Bayonne, New Jersey, endured a tumultuous and violent upbringing. Her parents' divorce when she was five years old marked the beginning of a series of distressing events in her life. Following the separation, her mother remarried a man who subjected Sandra to sexual abuse, casting a dark shadow over her childhood. The abuse Sandra suffered at the hands of her stepfather left an indelible mark on her psyche, shaping her personality and relationships in the years to come. Despite the challenges she faced, Sandra persevered and pursued a career in acting, eventually becoming a household name in the 1950s and 1960s. However, the scars of her upbringing never truly healed, and Sandra struggled with substance abuse and mental health issues throughout her adult life. Her experiences serve as a poignant reminder of the long-lasting impact of childhood trauma and the resilience required to overcome it. Sandra D's story is a complex and heart-wrenching one, highlighting the devastating consequences of violence and abuse. Her journey from a troubled childhood to a successful acting career is a testament to her strength and determination, but also a reminder of the ongoing struggle faced by many survivors of abuse. Sandra Dee's modeling career began when she was just four years old. She started appearing in commercials for well-known brands such as Coca-Cola, which laid the groundwork for her future success. As she grew older, her natural beauty and charisma continued to shine, and she quickly became one of the top teen models in America. At the age of 12, Sandra was discovered by an actor and producer who recognized her potential. They saw in her a unique blend of innocence and maturity which made her a perfect fit for the world of modeling. From that point on, Sandra's career took off and she became a household name in the industry. Sandra's success as a model opened many doors for her and she soon found herself branching out into other areas of entertainment. However, it was her early start in modeling that laid the foundation for her future achievements. Her ability to captivate audiences with her beauty and charm made her a favorite among photographers, designers, and fans alike. Throughout her career, Sandra remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She was known for her professionalism and her willingness to go above and beyond to ensure that every shoot was a success. Her impact on the modeling industry is still felt today and she remains an inspiration to aspiring models everywhere. In conclusion, Sandra Dee's modeling career began at a young age and quickly propelled her to fame. Her natural beauty, charisma, and professionalism made her a favorite in the industry and her legacy continues to inspire generations of models to come. Sandra D, a well-known actress, faced a significant challenge in her life when she developed a severe eating disorder. She started slimming down drastically, almost to the point of starving herself. This dangerous behavior led her to the brink of death. Fortunately, Sandra received medical attention and was put on medication to help her recover. As part of her treatment, Sandra had to learn how to eat properly again. This process was not easy, and she developed an immutable eating disorder known as anorexia nervosa. This disorder is a serious mental health condition that affects a person's ability to maintain a healthy weight. It can also cause a variety of other health problems, including heart problems, bone loss, and hormonal imbalances. Sandra's experience with an eating disorder was no doubt difficult and challenging. However, she was able to overcome it with the help of medical professionals and a strong support system. Today, Sandra is remembered not only for her acting career, but also for her resilience in the face of adversity. It's important to note that eating disorders are serious mental health conditions that require professional treatment. If you or someone you know is struggling with an eating disorder, it's essential to seek help from a qualified healthcare provider. With the right treatment and support, it is possible to overcome an eating disorder and lead a healthy, fulfilling life. In 1957, Sandra Dee, a young and talented actress, moved from New York to Hollywood to further her career in the entertainment industry. She enrolled at the Hollywood Professional School, an institution known for catering to the educational needs of young actors and actresses. During her time at the Hollywood Professional School, Sandra honed her craft 
and prepared herself for the challenges of the entertainment industry. Her dedication and hard work paid off when she graduated from University High School in Los Angeles in June 1958. Sandra's move to Hollywood marked the beginning of a successful career in the entertainment industry. She became a household name and was known for her beauty, talent, and charm. Her contributions to the world of film and television continue to be celebrated and remembered by fans and industry professionals alike. Sandra's story is a testament to the power of hard work, dedication, and a passion for one's craft. Her move to Hollywood in 1957 set the stage for a long and successful career in the entertainment industry, and her legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Sandra D. made her first on-screen debut in the 1957 Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer film Until They Sail. That same year, she was recognized for her talent and received the Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year Actress. Her acting career continued to flourish, and in 1959, she acted alongside Lana Turner in the film Imitation of Life. This role solidified her status as a household name and established her as a talented actress in the film industry. Sandra Dee's contributions to the acting world have left a long-lasting impact, and her performances continue to be cherished by many. Sandra Dee, the actress known for her roles in Gidget and Imitation of Life, married her come September co-star Bobby Darin in 1960. The following year, they had a son named Dodd Mitchell Darin. However, their marriage was not meant to last, and they divorced in 1967. Bobby remarried the very next year. Sandra's separation from Bobby left her feeling depressed, and she struggled with poor health and alcoholism for many years. The divorce took a significant toll on her, and she was never able to fully recover. Despite the challenges she faced in her personal life, Sandra continued to act in films throughout the 1960s and 1970s. However, her struggles with alcoholism and poor health eventually led to a decline in her career. In the end, Sandra's marriage and family life were marked by both joy and heartache. Her relationship with Bobby Darren brought her love and a child, but it also led to heartbreak and personal struggles. Despite the challenges she faced, Sandra remained a talented and beloved actress, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the world of film. Sandra Dee's career began to decline by the end of the 1960s in it, and she was eventually dropped by Universal Pictures. This period marked the beginning of a long struggle with personal issues for the actress. She battled anorexia nervosa, a serious eating disorder, for many years, which significantly affected her health and well-being. In addition to anorexia, Sandra also struggled with depression and alcoholism, which further complicated her life. These issues made it difficult for her to continue working in the film industry, and she appeared in fewer and fewer movies as time went on. Despite her personal struggles, Sandra remained a beloved figure in Hollywood, and many people continued to admire her for her past work. However, her health continued to decline, and she was eventually hospitalized due to major complications from existing kidney disease. On February 20, 2005, Sandra Dee passed away at the age of 62. Her death was a sad moment for her many fans, who had followed her career and admired her talent for many years. Despite the challenges she faced in her later years, Sandra will always be remembered for her contributions to the film industry and her enduring legacy as a talented actress. Sandra Dee, born Alexandra Zuck, was an American actress who made a significant impact in the film industry during the 1950s and 1960s. She began her career as a teenager and quickly gained popularity for her girl next door charm and wholesome image. In the early years of her career, Sandra Dee was nominated for several prestigious awards. Her talent and potential were first recognized in 1958 when she won the Most Promising Newcomer Female Award at the Golden Globe Awards. This recognition marked the beginning of a successful career in the film industry for the young actress. From 1960 to 1967, Sandra Dee was nominated for the Top Female Star and Top Female Comedy Performance at the Golden Globe Awards. These nominations further solidified her status as a talented actress and a popular figure in Hollywood. Sandra Dee's career was marked by her ability to portray a wide range of characters, from comedic roles to more serious and dramatic ones. Her talent and versatility were evident in the numerous films she starred in, including Gidget, A Summer Place, Imitation of Life, and Tammy Tell Me True. 
Despite facing personal challenges later in her life, Sandra Dee's legacy as a talented actress continues to be celebrated and remembered. Her contributions to the film industry and her impact on audiences during her career are a testament to her enduring talent and appeal. In conclusion, Sandra Dee's career as an actress was marked by her early recognition and nomination for several awards, as well as her ability to portray a wide range of characters. Her talent and versatility continue to be celebrated and remembered, making her a lasting legacy in the film industry.